Hello, this is Mike Barrett Dickel. I'm a recent graduate of the video game art and design course that we have here at Holland College in Prince Edward Island. So uh, today I'm just going to show you guys how to do a wireframe rendering. Uh, of course, it could be also done with using the vector render plugin, um, but it doesn't really give you the effect that you want. Um, in a lot of cases, what it will do is say for instance um, like the square here it would actually divide it into a triangle like two triangles and same as all the other squares so we are going to avoid that today I'm going to show you another quick and easy way of doing a wireframe rendering it's, it's especially good for stuff like if you want to do a demo reel um, type of thing you could have it animating rotating while showing the wireframe and we could even have the wireframe so that it um it goes like from the opacity it goes from not seeing the wireframe slowly goes to seeing the wireframe and we well you know I won't go into that yet but anyway I will show you guys how that's done um so right now I got a basic model that I did in in Maya. So now I'm right now I'm gonna just take off the wireframe on shaded off, just so you guys can take have a look there. Um, now, first thing we have to do is we have to select the model. We have to go up to normals, and we have to harden all the edges. So there we go. Oh, I'm actually going to change. If I render this out now, it has a black background, so he's kind of a bit hard to see. So I'm going to go up to the perspective view. I'm going to change the environment to maybe to gray. There we go. It's much better. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select our character then up here where you know I have a custom tab um, we're going to go up to tune and we have a bunch of options here and the one we're going to use for this is the add new tune outliner so we're just going to select that and as you can see, it kind of put up the crap everywhere, <laughs> so to speak. So what we're going to do about that is first you can press uh, Control A if your at attribute editor isn't already open. And then once it is open, up at the top, you're going to turn off the profile lines and border lines. So we're going to turn both of them off. There we go. Now you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this underneath profile lines is crease lines. So you're going to open that and your crease color is probably black. So um, in this menu uh, there's crease break angle crease angle minimum, crease angle max. So all of them options we're going to actually put them all down. So now you're halfway there. Uh, now for crease color we could change the wireframe color. We'll just change the white. Um, You know what? Instead, I'm actually going to show you another another neat thing right now. Uh, the crease color, you could also hit the little box beside that. And you could actually go and select the ramp shader. So there. Back 
back here. Probably should have deleted the history first. There we go. There, okay. So now we're back at the tune shape, shader, thingy. And now what we are going to do is we're going to... Now, this lot, these lines are, if you render it out now, it's actually really quite thick. And it looks really gross. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the width of the line. It, the default is 1. We're going to put it at, I don't know, um, 0.1 to make them more thin, more like wireframe. Now if we render this out, you see, once it's rendered, it's it's kind of got like a back face calling type of thing going on with the lines. So how we're going to fix that is if you scroll up here, you'll see this local occlusion and it's off so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn that on to line surface and now if you render it you will see that it's actually it's like the wireframe so, so there we go now, you could also play around with these settings. For example, um, like line offset, it's a really cool feature. Like if you were to set this at like say um, 1000. Now it looks like crap right now, right? But what you could do, which is really cool, is actually you could right click on it and then set key. And then you could actually change the value. And then set key again on like frame 24 or whatever. And then you will have the wireframe animating, which is a really neat free feature. So it's the whole the line offset thing. Um, another thing is the line opacity. I never really did anything with this. Yeah. It's also a really neat feature whenever you're rendering it. And you can also uh, keyframe that too. So yeah. So, you know, have fun with it, tweak around it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.